So something I've been trying to solve is how to control a group of DMX heads as as a model group instead of having to to control each individual head separately. So I've got five DMX heads here that are all set up, you know, one right after another channel wise. And then I've created a group where I've put all the heads in it. Now if I go over to the sequence and I want to drop a color wash down on that group, you can see, you know, the colors, the colors in this house preview. Let me make this a little larger. Love how tiny that starts out. So, colors here aren't showing up like they should. And I've got this set at per model default. These are the new per model options that should distribute the effect down to all the models. And if we, we drill down and look at the strand, you can see the red, green, blue channels don't have anything. So, I thought I was going to have to change code, but I figured out it's got more to do with the layout mode because that, that determines what type of render buffer is created when you create a group. And you'll notice there's a whole lot of options. So there's a lot of different buffer arrangements that you can create here. So I found pick single line because that's going to arrange all the nodes for these heads in a single line, which makes it so that Xlights is able to properly figure out how to distribute the colors. So now you can see the colors are actually lighting up in these heads. And you can see the channels down here now filled up. And, and it did that for every one of these heads. So now I've just dropped one effect and got that color distributed over all five heads. So let me drop a, another layer in here. Grab a DMX effect just to make this thing move a little bit. I'm going to just drag the first pan channel. Oh, I forgot. I changed the render style. So now you can see all five heads are moving. And I could, could do just a ramp up. And then on the other channel, do, do something so I can get them moving. Now you can see just a couple effects. I've got all five heads moving in unison. So without changing any code with the release you currently have, you should be able to use a model group and, and make it move. Just remember to come down and change the render style to per mile default or per mile single line works. I don't think it makes a difference. And then in layout, the important thing is to make this a single line render buffer. So hope that uh, helps you out.